Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to this lovely site. I'm sure the smell is quite delightful. So, uh, just a little um, heads up <laughs> before we get going here. I'm expecting a delivery sometime this afternoon. Uh, I might be getting it really soon, I might be getting it a lot later than I... Well, when I finished recording this episode and possibly the next one. Um, we'll just see. So, we are still at the map where we left off, Mount Galadrim, Galadrim. And the thing is, I said I would not... Uh, well, I said I, I would be on the other map or near to it, unless something happened. And... Oh! Now you can't see them. Okay, well, let's just say... Something wicked this way stands. Let's go. Yep, there you go. Take a crit to the knee, bro. There's something back there. Oh, yeah, there is. Hey. Don't go hacking at my healer. Very rude of you. Hmm. Seems the frame rates are a bit... Strange. Not quite sure what's up with this. Mm. Well, I'm tucking it out. Uh, well, the turns seem good, good at least. So I don't know what this is about. Uh, well, I'll see if I can uh, investigate uh, in between episodes. Uh, so, there's been a, a lot of updates going on. Maybe there's something chugging along in the uh, background, 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 as it so often is with Windows. Okay, you want to talk, and there's a prisoner cage. Well, the frame rate looks good from here. Let's just get in. Oh, hey. Not cool, bro. Causing so much havoc on my mountain. My mountain. Is this some sort of joke? You came all the way here to my seat atop these peaks. For what? To take back what you stole from my people, the Iron Fists. That's what. In uh, this dialogue scene, looks pretty good, so I'll just... Uh... Chalk it up to some uh, weird shenanigans. Okay, let's carry on. Belt, please. The belt? Ah, you mean the one I'm wearing right now? Ha, I can't give that back. It's precious to our tribe. So precious, we would never give it up or give it away. Like some dwarf. It doesn't belong to you, you overgrown fire-eating oafs. It's only to be worn by true Iron Fists. Ah, the Iron Fists. You always were a pathetic clan, hiding behind your gates in the earth. We still tell stories about your efforts to our children. <laughs> about the little dwarves tumbling down our mountains like pebbles. <laughs> Oh, 
Hmm. Um, this seems like a pretty obvious batch of brownie points with Kelgar. I think Amon would disapprove though. Um, again, couldn't care less. Obsidian, it's your freaking native language, not mine. Get a grip. Um, okay. Uh, whatever. I need the influence with Kelkar, I think. What the captain said, and I take care not to slander the Iron Fist again. If you know it's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so? Do you know how we got your precious belt? That's an easy one. You stole it. It was stolen by your very own king. King Lodrum came to us. What nonsense is this? We don't have time for your lies. He came to us and gave us the belt. Begged us to end the fighting and lie for him. Lodrum never died on this mountain, dwarf. He pretended to lead his men into battle. He let them die while he fled. That's an Iron Fist King you're talking about. He wouldn't do something like that. It's not in our blood. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Well, number one. It may not matter to you, but it matters to me. That clan honor he's bloodying. Believe I think I lost those brownie points right there. This one did. He was tired of keeping your raggedy clan together and fled like a coward. We have known for many years that the Iron Fist clan is strong in name only. That does it. I'm not letting him say another word. Hold, hold, little Iron Fist. Let's be fair. Your ancestors gave us a deal, so I'll give you one as well. There's a red dragon hiding around these crags, no doubt after our horn. Kill it, and I'll give you your belt. It would be a good deal. That is, if we could trust you. Hmm. 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 I'm feeling a bit um, chaotic today, so I will tell a lie. Go then, and do not return until it's dead. Okay. So I'm a little more chaotic. Let's see about my brownie points. Yeah. Figured. <laughs> easy come, easy go. Oh well. So what's that about a red dragon? Um, mm hmm. Okay, but there's no path to a red dragon here. Hmm. Okay, yeah, something's up with this area, that's all. That's, uh, yeah, I'm talking about the frame rate again. Um, well, I hope it is not a Discover 21. Okay, I'm sure uh, that Hellhound has a lot of interesting things to say. Oh. Hello. 
Who the hell are you? You are in community. Oh. the way out again. Uh, <laughs> okay, we have a path, but uh, seriously. Oh, wait, this, uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> I can navigate. I have a sense of direction. Okay, let's see what we have on the map. Another entrance to Canyon. What is that entrance? Maybe that is the entrance we are looking for. Right, I'll just have the AI go on a very, very long excursion. I mean, this will probably be something like, uh, we go to the dragon, the dragon says, just, uh, kill the other guys instead, and you don't have to fight big old me, and, uh, Chances are, uh, I will be more successful than a fight against the Fire Giant, Red Dragon. Um, but... We'll have to see. Maybe the game actually forces me to fight the dragon. There's no path straight up there. Hmm. Okay. I guess we'll have to do the mini clicks route. Wasn't I appear in the previous episode? It's um, actually been quite a number of days <laughs> since I uh, recorded the previous episode, so I'm um, a little hazy on some details. Let's leave it at that. Okay, large boulders. Sounds... Or, well, looks like something from... Oh, and uh, there's that. What can I do with you? Hmm. This is likely where the belt is. If anywhere, they seem to be entrenched pretty deep, though. It's going to be like pulling teeth to get the belt out of there. And if anyone's spying on those giants, chances are they're over here. Something happened. Um, good job I cleared the place out before then. Okay. Uh, push. What the hell? Right? Yay. 50 experience points. And, uh... Yeah. Nothing much achieved. Great. So let's go over this way. F 
Fiery Canyon. Um, just in case we end up fighting a dragon, I think it will be very clever to save the game here. Hey, big bad dragon. Are you in? Yeah, you're in. Fuck. If you wish to avoid death, I suggest you leave this place. Our patience is short. So what is it this time? Did I destroy your village? Devour your favorite sheep? Hmm. How about all of the above? Hmm. Well... They've done nothing to Shellis. I mean, the uh, the dragon has done nothing to Shellis. Um, to be honest, I don't think Shellis would pick a fight with a dragon. Given a choice, let's play it like that. I think you misunderstand me. I'm savoring the moment precisely because we have no quarrel. Perhaps I can throw your broken bodies to the fire giants. Well, you know, I kind of want to fight the fire giants, and I kind of want the camera to stop being inside you. It's a, it's a little unnerving. Really? Perhaps I shouldn't dispose of you just yet. What do you want with the fire giants? Hmm. Two or three. Yeah, I'll go three. And not just any item. An iron fist relic. Yes, yes. Ah, probably a missile hard point. Well, only if we're lucky. Then I offer you this, a chance to live. In return, you will kill the fire giants and their king. I will help you, of course. And uh, how exactly will you help us? Through moral encouragement. No, you simpleton. I'll restrain myself now and tear off their limbs instead. I'm okay with this. This is a good idea. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? I am sure it is not a good idea. <laughs> um, but hey, gives us the belt. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, the thing is, I would have preferred to say no, but I'm not sure how that would have impacted the um, the uh, chain of events, shall we say. So, off to smite some giants. Oh, and uh, Kilgar, my man, get the healed. A slight tiny bit anyway. Oh, uh, wait, um, I didn't gain any influence points, did I? Huh. No, I did not. Game. Hmm. 
Okay. So it's off to uh, deal with the giants again. See, can I click over here? Oh, I can. Don't mind if I do then. Um, so what should we talk about as Shellis makes his way to the exit just a few hundred yards straight across by taking a very long way around? Um, well, I did uh, pick up some other bit of loot I I bought before. Um, one nice ED and uh, one thing I uh, uh, I did not think I was buying. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> Oops. Um, mistakes were made. Um, but anyway, I have a CD to listen to when we're done with this. Um, so, I'm also pretty close to finishing uh, Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition, in case anyone cared. I doubt anyone did, but I... <laughs> um, I'm, well, oh, I'm getting a little strung out there with the... Uh, from my other party members. Come on, Nishka. Where's that Eleni? No? Ah, it's Amon and Eleni. Slow pokes. Um, well, I think uh, what draws me mostly to uh, Tales of Asperia is uh, the uh, Cosmos costume uh, that uh, Judy gets. But I have to admit, I can't understand why people think it's the uh, better Tales of game. So, um, I'm having more fun than I expected. But, uh, <laughs> ah, it's not perfect. And with that rambling out of the way, I think we are getting close to our destination at long last. There you go, entrance to canyon. Save the game, and uh, let's go fight uh, some fire giants. That'll take the rest of the episode, I'm pretty sure. I want to end it just yet. Hello. Come to stab you in the face. I just have to stab you in the knee a few times to reach it. Oh, there you are. Fire giant king. You're the one we're supposed to talk to. Is it dead? Uh, not yet. You are a fool to return, my king. There it is. Hi. Attack now! Kill it! Oh no! Oh no! Um, <laughs> okay, um, interesting, very interesting, but I'll attack the fire giants. Huh, I did not know you could, um, make that choice. That is, um, that is the thing. Oh, and uh, why am I not stabbing anything? Stop not stabbing anything, me. Uh, no, 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 stop. God damn it. I'm I'm trying to loot things. For fuck's sake, game. Hmm. 
slight problem. You see, I now want all of the treasure. If you wish to avoid death, I suggest you leave this place. Our patience is short. This is probably the one time I am 200% behind what Amanjero just said. Uh, well, just... Fuck, take what you want. Just give us the freaking belt. Uh, but that would be too easy now, I'm afraid. The problem is that I delight in the death of lesser creatures. You cry and bleat and mule as you die. And that fills my soul with joy. Hmm. Oh well. If that's your game, just... Fuck it. Get stabbed in the knee, bro. I think the time for humoring your presence has ended. I gave you the luxury of dialogue. No more. <sighs> okay. This is going to be very freaking nasty, isn't it? Um, he's got tax the lap six and hits, but did she deal any damage at all? That is the question. Um, what do these do again? Ah, whatever, roll or a chain for the fun of it. With some magical damage, okay. Interesting. Hmm. Ah, okay. This is fine. Uh, does course and bleed do anything? It's a plus two dagger. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Let's go. Ooh. Uh, Kelgar, you're not doing great. Oh. Wow. Okay. Somehow, I don't see myself having a chance in hell against this dragon so um we're gonna do this again and after the fight with the fire giant fire giants actually um let, let's why don't we fight both on this next attempt yeah sure let's do that um anyway uh, next part um more shenanigans i'm sure you're gonna love it see you then